Welcome to this week's travel tip. We were talking with some friends the other day and we were telling her about some ghost towns we went to and she said, you've been to ghost towns? And we thought that would be a great off and on beaten path nugget to give on our Saturday travel tips. The first one that we want to tell you about is Cerro Gordo. We've been to Cerro Gordo twice. Cerro Gordo, discovered by Mexicans in 1865, was at $17 million, Inyo's wealthiest mineral producer. This was the greatest silver and lead producing mine in California's history. The Cerro Gordo silver mine qualifies as the largest silver mine in the lower 48. Every day, high quality silver bullion went via toll roads, steamship, and mule driven wagons to be shipped from El Pueblo de Los Angeles, founded in 1781, to San Francisco for refining. Silver lead ore is called galena. The large mineral mining operations effectively diminished by 1888 with remnants worked until 1959. From the tiny town of Keeler, surmount the eight mile steep roadway plagued with hairpin turns to reach the late 19th century rustic mining community of Cerro Gordo. And Cerro Gordo means fat hill. Upon our arrival on that crisp autumn morning at the ghost town, it seemed like all the residents just walked away yesterday and time stood still. To get a sense of life on the mountaintop, do the walking tour. Begin at the general store, now an overfilled museum. The 1871 American Hotel includes an antique-filled western saloon, sporting bullet holes in the poker card room's walls. The arid weather aids in the preservation of the rustic town. We ate lunch at the end of a rough road that leads a short distance from the ghost town to grand views of jagged Mount Whitney. Alternatively, east of the town, hike the south slope to 9,188-foot Cerro Gordo Peak to fabulous views of Death Valley, Saline Valley, the racetrack, and Owens Valley. Cerro Gordo Peak is the southernmost peak in the Inyo Mountains. The views alone are worth the drive. Well-seasoned hikers can explore for miles around the ghost town. We returned several years later to hike to the top of Cerro Gordo, but the day before, a visitor's car had burned up completely and was blocking the road. We will make a third trip to this historic and stupendous locale. Cerro Gordo is located on the western side of Death Valley, situated southwest of Beatty is Rhyolite, the former Queen City of Death Valley, and it is one of the most photographed of all ghost towns. Step back in time to Golden Street, the main street in town, and imagine it crammed with horses, dogs, pack mules, stagecoaches, and pedestrians. After the demise of mining there, the power was turned off to the town in 1916. Stop at the 1908 Bottle House, built by a resourceful miner. It is made of 50,000 bottles. Paramount Pictures restored the house in 1925. Looking for that dream photo? Then shoot the Rhyolite Mercantile, Overbury Bank, and the Las Vegas and Tonopah Railroad's California Mission Style Depot. Crumbling walls of other structures stand on the Rhyolite, with Nevada's striking blue sky and mine shafts looming in the cliff sides in the background. The structures are owned both publicly and privately. We have driven through and explored around the stunning abandoned town four times. In Rhyolite's Peak, five hours and $25 obtained a trip in a seven-passenger automobile on the Rhyolite Goldfield Run. Now, only 100 people call Goldfield home. In its heyday, this once engaging mining town flourished with 30,000 residents. To contribute to the Boomtown's glitzy reputation, the first Otis Elevator west of the Mississippi River carried guests up and down in the opulent Goldfield Hotel. We peered through the windows to see the famous elevator inside the closed down structure. Hopefully one day the hotel will be restored to its glory days. This photograph was taken through the keyhole at the hotel's front door. Goldfield is located in the beautiful state of Nevada. Ghost towns and abandoned mine towns are all over Death Valley. We also went to Ballarat. It's reached over a three mile dirt road from Trona Wild Rose Road. It's a town with a sordid past lying on the western boundary of Death Valley. The main mine there was the Radcliffe Gold Mine operated from 1898 to 1903. Shady Ballarat was established in 1897 as a minor supply and recreation center for those working the mines on the western slope of the Panamint Mountains. It was named after Ballarat, Australia, where gold was first discovered in that country in 1851. Not sure how shady you can call a place. It was 112 degrees on the day we visited. Shorty Harris lived there off and on until his death in 1934. His cabin, along with a half a dozen dilapidated structures, is all that remains. A few tenuous characters live in the almost abandoned historic ghost town. The wildest thing in Ballarat is that California inmate Charles Manson's Dodge Power Wagon it's been parked there for decades. 
from when he frequented the Barker Ranch south of Lonely Ballarat. We attempted to reach the Barker Ranch site, but a rear blowout and temperatures of 113 degrees forced us to turn around. We gathered gloves and long sleeves and ventured to St. Elmo, one of 35 raw counting spots listed on the Chaffee County Gem, Crystal, and Mineral brochure. We bundled up and drove through snow following old mining roads, now turned Jeep ATV trails, to reach the preserved ghost town of St. Elmo. Transcending the valley with an elevation of 10,054 feet, the High Mountain Mining Camp was founded in 1880. It became a supply town and rail center for trains headed through the famous Alpine Tunnel. Dozens of mines encircled the town, the most famous being the Mary Murphy. St. Elmo became a full-fledged ghost town by 1958, located 24 miles southwest of Buena Vista. It is one of over 1,500 ghost towns in Colorado. Many travel the highway to St. Elmo to photograph the imposing golden aspens in autumn as a backdrop to the 44 original Old West structures listed on the National Register of Historic Places. We follow the trail system through the southern collegiate peaks near the base of Mount Princeton and Mount Entero. There are ghost towns in Arizona, Nevada, Utah, California. American history. Love it. Learn it. Experience it. Appreciate it. And don't forget to watch our weekday nuggets on our YouTube channel, Steve Roman. Thank you.